Coming up next, we show you a whole bunch of different fishing spots and the dangers within them. In Hawaii, before you go fishing, it's super important to check the surf before. Because if the surf is down, then you can pretty much fish anywhere. But if the surf is up, you have to be careful where you fish at. The general rule of thumb is during the summer months, the south shore will have bigger waves and the north and west shores will look like a lake. But during the winter months, the north and west shores will have huge waves and the south shore will have smaller waves. Remember, this is just a generalization. There is always a chance a swell will hit the north shore during the summer or vice versa. Harbors, bays, and piers are some of the safest places to fish. They either have man-made or natural walls that help break up the waves. So the inside parts are calm. But the piers are above the waves, so the waves don't even touch them. Some of the piers may have break walls as well. Some of your main concerns in fishing on harbors, bays, or piers is falling off the pier, slipping on rocks, or getting hooked. Because there's usually no waves you have to worry about. These are great places for beginners to learn how to fish. It helps them focus on the fishing and not have to worry about the freak wave coming in. Some of these places hold a lot of fish. But they're super picky and you have to work really hard to catch them. Remember, some of the best places to fish, you might have to walk a little way. Protected sandy beaches are a great place to fish for both beginners and experts. Protected sandy beaches have a barrier reef or rocks on the outside that protect the beach from bigger waves by breaking them up. Sometimes sandy beaches will have big waves if it's a high tide or really deep after the ferry reef. So the more shallow the inside reef, the less waves. These are the places that we call more Papio, O Eel, and Moe. They can be highly productive if you find a good area. You can use a variety of baits when you fish these protected sandy beaches. You can use poppers, lures, or baits. Here you can see the waves breaking outside. One of the things you have to be careful about with these beaches, especially the east side of the island, is the Portuguese man of war. These usually make great walking beaches, so make sure to look down every now and then to make sure you don't accidentally kick one. It hurts when we get stung. We usually use tubbies so we don't have to worry about them. Here the waves are breaking really far out. And this is a shallow reef, so the waves are really small. Some of these shallow areas, it's hard to believe, can produce a lot of fish. Rocky shorelines are one of our favorite places to fish. You're almost guaranteed to catch a fish. You might have to throw it back because you don't want it or eat it, but you want to catch some type of reef fish. These rocky shorelines can be either a little bit cliffy or flat. 
A lot of times when we're doing this type of fishing, we're using the smaller fish for live bait for our bigger bones. Cliffier ones tend to have more fish. And is a better place to use hand holes. Which is one of our favorite types of fishing. Here you can see how we're fishing the inside and how it's protected from the waves. When fishing these areas, shrimp, ika, and bread tend to be really good baits. This area is, can be really good for beginner fishermen to use hand poles if it's a sheltered area. Rocky boulder areas are another dangerous area, not only from the waves, but from the rocks moving when you walk on them. These areas will take a little while to learn how to walk on them. Some areas will test your knees and ankles when you walk on them. We like to call people that can walk really fast on these rocks, Rock Ninjas. A lot of times the boulder areas will be mixed in with rocky areas. Open ocean sandy beaches can be really dangerous during the winter months. When the swells on the north shore tend to get a lot bigger. These are the sandy beaches that don't have shallow barrier reefs. So the waves that wash up on these beaches are strong. Just a few inches of water could knock a keiki off their feet. Kawhi gets a plenty of these beaches on the North Shore, especially during the winter months. We usually only fish these spots during the summer. Sometimes these areas will have rivers or streams that empty into the water. These areas sometimes can be highly productive fishing areas because the fish are waiting for food to flow down the rivers into the ocean. But if it's been raining or storming, you might want to reconsider due to the possibility of a flash flood. These areas are highly productive fishing areas too. But be really careful during the winter months. Coming up next, these are some of the most dangerous places to fish in Hawaii. So be careful when fishing here. Not recommended for Keiki. 
The most dangerous areas for fishing is rocky cliff areas with steep drop off. Watching for waves is the most important thing. My dad doesn't let us fish these areas yet. He says we gotta wait till we're 18. The other outer islands get a bunch of areas like this. But place everyone knows on Oahu is the area between Sandy Beach and Hanama Bay, around the blowhole area. Super dangerous, especially if you get waves. Some of these areas have steep drop off. And the water right off these cliffs can be 50 to 100 feet deep. Just this year, someone almost died over here. If you liked the video, click the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell for a notification. Mahalo!